on the set that you might say, every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. Isn't it easy? You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because on the test is our home. How do we keep our balance? Rabbi, 
May I ask you a question? Certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar? Of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us. <laughs> Once in a lifetime news. Where are your daughters? Outside? No? Good. 
Such diamonds, such jewels. You'll see gold, I'll find every one of them a husband. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband, God forbid. And who should know better than me? Ever since my husband died, I've been alone, a poor widow, no one to talk to, nothing to say to anyone. But no luck. All I do at night is think of him. And even thinking of him gives me no pleasure. For you know, as well as I, he was not much of a person. Never made a living. Everything he touched turned to mud. <laughs> but better than nothing. Good evening. Is Cycle in the house? Yes, but she's busy. You can come back later. There's something I'd like to tell her. You can come back later. Oh, Michael, I thought I heard you. Finish what you were doing. I said later. All right. that poor little Taylor Muscle want with Saito. They've been friends since they were babies. They talk, they play. They play? What do they play? <laughs> Who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. <laughs> Muscle uh, are nothing. Yet to you children, say. children, they're your blessing in your old age. But my heir and couldn't give me children. Believe me, he was good as gold. Never raised his voice to me. But otherwise, he was not much of a man. So what good is it if he never raised his voice? But who's complaining? Other women enjoy complaining, not Yenta. Not every woman in the world is a Yenta. Well, I must prepare my poor Sabbath table. So goodbye, Golda. And it's been a pleasure talking our hearts out to each other. Yenta, you said you had news for me. Uh, I'm losing my head. One day we'll fall off altogether and a horse will kick it in the mud. Goodbye, Yenta. Of course, the news. It's about Laser Wolf, the butcher. A good man, a fine man, and I don't have to tell you he's well off. But he's lonely, the poor man, you understand? Of course you do. To make it sure, out of the whole town, he's cast his eye on title. My title? No, the Tsar's title. Of course your title is such a match for my title. I tell you, doesn't like me, but he wants a learning man. Listen to me, go. Send Tevye to him. Don't tell him what it's about. Let Laser discuss it for himself. He'll win him over. He's a good man, a wealthy man. <laughs> so, you'll tell me how it went. And you don't have to thank me, go look for a side from my feet, which anyway, Laser will pay. It gives me satisfaction just to make people happy. What better satisfaction is there? So goodbye, go look. And you're welcome. Oh. What does he want, Mama? <laughs> When I want you to know, I'll tell you. Finish washing the floor. <clears throat> I wonder if Yenta found a husband for you. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. Not that it's my no. the tailor. I didn't ask you. Zyle, you're the oldest. They have to make a match for you before they can make one for me. And then after her, one for me. So if Yenta brings Oh, Yenta, Yenta! Somebody has to bring the match with those young people. Themselves. She might bring someone wonderful and interesting and well off and important. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find. Match me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your heart and make me a perfect match. Matchmaker, matchmaker, I'll bring the veil. You bring the groove, slender and pale. Bring me a bring.
you know, you are also right. <laughs> and he's right. He's still right behind the ears. Good Sabbath, Tabby. Good Sabbath, Tabby. Good Sabbath. Tabby, the rabbi's order. My cheese. So you're from uh, Kiev, Reb Perchik. Perchik. So you're a newcomer here. As Abraham once said, I am a stranger in a strange land. Moses said that. Now forgive me. King David put it, I'm slow of speech and slow of tongue. That was also Moses. Well, a man with a slow of tongue, he talked a lot. And my cheese. Here, have it. I have no money. I'm not a beggar. Here, it's a blessing for me to give. Take it. Very well. For your sake. Thank you. You know, it's no crime to be poor. In this world, it's the rich who are the criminals. Someday their wealth will be ours. That would be nice. They would agree. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> and who would make this miracle come to pass? People. Ordinary people. Like you. Like me. Nonsense. And until your golden day comes, Rev. Bridget, how will you live? By giving lessons to children. Do you have children? I have five daughters. Five? Daughters. Girls should learn, too. Girls are people. A radical! <laughs> <laughs> I would be willing to teach them. Open their minds to great thoughts. What great thoughts? Well, the Bible has many lessons for our times. I'm a very poor man. There's food for lessons. Good. Stay the Sabbath with us. Of course, we don't eat like kings, but we don't starve either. As the good book says, when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Where does the book say that? Well, it doesn't exactly say that, but somewhere it has something about a chicken. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Just talk 
to him. My lovely father says, no, that's it. It's final. You yell at me. Mama! But this is a poor tailor. Not even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. That's true. Will you talk to him? Will you talk to him? All right, we'll talk to him. <laughs> Where is everybody? It's late, late. Come, children, we're lighting the candles. Good to have you. What is it, mother? Good to have you. Hi. What is it, mother? What is it?
is no wedding without you and your team. Good evening, innkeeper. Good luck and sleep. Vodka? Stop. Vodka. Right away. Good evening, Rev. 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 What are you doing here so early? He wants to buy my new milk cow. <laughs> Good evening, Rev. Laser. Ah, have you? Good evening to yourself. How are you? How are you? Sit down. Sit down. Have a drink. I won't insult you by saying no. How goes it with you, Tavia? How should it go? You're right. And you? The same. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so, uh, how's your brother-in-law in America? I believe he's doing very well. He wrote you? Not lately. Then how do you know? If you were doing badly, he would write. Then? Yeah, of course. Debbie, I suppose you know why I wanted to see you. Yes, I do, Red Laser, but there's no use talking about it. Why not? Why, yes, why should I get rid of her? You'd have a few more without her. I see. <laughs> Today you want one, tomorrow you may want two. <laughs> two? What would I do with two? The same as you do with one? <laughs> Debbie, this is very important to me. Why is it so important to you? Frankly, because I'm lonesome. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you know? You're talking about my new milk cow, the one you want to buy from me. Oh. <laughs> A milk cow? Because I'm lonesome? <laughs> What's so funny, Sam? I'm talking about your daughter. Your daughter, Cycle. My daughter? Of course, your daughter. Your daughter, Cycle, I see her in my butcher shop every Thursday. She's made a good impression on me. I like her. And as for me, Tavia, as you know, I'm pretty well off. I have my own house and a good store, a servant. Look, Tavia, why do we have to try to impress each other? Let's shake hands on it and call it a match. You won't need a dowry for her. You might find something in your own purse. Shame on you! Shame! My daughter Kite was left to sort that I would sell for money. All right, all right, just as you say. <laughs> Sit down. We won't talk about money. The main thing is let's get it done with. I'll be good to her, Tavia. I like her. What do you think? What do I think? What do I think? I never liked him. Why should I? You can have a fine conversation with him if you talk about kidneys and livers. <laughs> On the other hand, not everyone has to be a scholar. If you have enough money, no one will ever call you stupid. <laughs> and with the butcher, my daughter will surely never know hunger. Uh, but he has a problem. He's much older than her. That's her problem. <laughs> but she's younger. That's his problem. <laughs> Uh, I always thought of him as a butcher, but he's a good man. He likes her. He will try to make her happy. <laughs> what do I think? It's a match. You agree? I agree. Ah, oh, Kevin, that's wonderful. Let's <laughs> that drink on it. Ah, uh, why not? To you, my friend. No, my friend. To you. To the both of us. To our agreement. To our agreement. To our prosperity. To good health. Yeah. <laughs>
tell you as a friend. Yeah. I'm telling you this because you're a decent, honest person. Even though you are a Jewish dog. How <laughs> often does a man get a compliment like that? <laughs> Who knows? Well, orders have come through that sometime soon this district's scheduled for a little unofficial demonstration. From? Here? No, just a little unofficial demonstration. How? Not too serious. Some mischief. So that even inspector should come through. He'll see that we've done our duty. Personally, Ted. I don't understand why there needs to be this trouble between people. I want to tell you. You can tell the others. Thank you, Your Honor. You're a decent man. I may say so. It's too bad you're not a Jew. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Teddy. Always joking. <laughs> oh, congratulations again for your daughter. Right, Your Honor. Dear God, did you have to send me news like that today of all days? It's true that we are the chosen people, but once in a while, can't you choose someone else? Anyway, thank you for bringing a husband for my title. L'chaim.
have just changed an old custom. Well, you're welcome. I mean, thank you. I'm just going to say. Hey, he looks expensive. What's your name? Honey, Papa. Where's the cycle? She's in the bar. All right.
You gave each other your pledge? Yes, Papa, we, we gave each other our pledge. Well, they gave each other a pledge. Unheard of, absurd. You gave each other a pledge.
about the man. We did when we began. But since your grandma came, she'll marry what's his name? Peter Muddle Cam's oil. The Taylor Muddle Cam's oil. The Taylor Muddle Cam's oil. The Taylor Muddle Cam's oil. <laughs>
giving the newlyweds the following. A new feather bed. Oh. A pair of pillows. Those pillows. Ooh, pillows. <laughs> and this fine pair of candlesticks. Oh. Now let us not tonight in our joy forget those who are no longer with us, our dearly departed, who live life in pain, poverty, and hardship, and who died in pain, poverty, and hardship. But enough tears! Let us be merry and content, like our good friend Laser Wolf, who has everything in this world except the bride. <laughs> but Laser has no ill feelings. In fact, he is a gift for the newlyweds. He would like to announce himself. Come, Laser Wolf! Like he said, I have no ill feeling. What's done is done. So I'm giving the newlyweds five chickens. Oh. Five, one for each of the first five Sabbaths of their wedded life. Oh. You are a decent man. In the name of my daughter and her new husband, I accept your gift. There's a famous saying Rip, that Rip, you? I'm not marrying your daughter. I don't have to listen to your say. Oh, but just listen to Why should I listen to you? A man who breaks an agreement. Brett Laser. Not now, not in the middle of a wedding. I have a right to talk. What right? This is not your wedding. Should have been. Brett Laser. Don't shame Rep Tevye and his daughter's wedding. Well, he shamed me in front of the whole village. <laughs>
all that one. Go on, play. Play! Mutual beliefs, 
the common attitude and philosophy towards society. And affection. And affection. This relationship has positive social value. It reflects a unity and solidarity. And affection. Yes. And I personally am in favor of it. You understand? Uh, yes. I think you're asking me to marry you. In a theoretical sense, yes. <laughs> I was hoping you were. Then I take it you approve. And we can consider ourselves engaged, even though I'm going away. I'm very happy, Huddle. Very happy. <laughs>
After all, <coughs> did Adam and Eve have a matchmaker? <laughs> yes, they did. So it seems these two have the same matchmaker. <laughs> They're calling over my head and hard out of sight. For this, they want to be blessed. Impossible.
Tommy was a good man. Tell him I rely on his honor to treat my daughter well. Tell him that. Papa! God, Lord knows when we shall see each other again. Then we will leave it in his hands. Who that man? He has a name. 
name, Papa. Of course, all creatures on earth have a name. Kick is not a creature, Papa. Kick is a man. Who says that he isn't Papa? It's just that he's a different kind of man. As the good book says, each shall seek his own kind. As translated means uh, a bird may love a fish, but where would they build a home together? <laughs> <laughs>
On the other hand, can I deny my own child? On the other hand, can I turn my back on my faith, my people? If I try to burn that fire, I'll break! On the other hand, there is no other hand. No!
piece of paper and get the out. Because you get together the people as far as they have a yeah. yeah. We need to yeah. be yeah. with ourselves. Yeah. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Yeah. Yeah. Someplace else. In the meantime, let's start packing. He's right. I'll see you before we go. But in three days, I have a hundred bottles of vodka. What am I going to do with that? Where can I go? The wife, the parents, and three children. <coughs> Well, Anna Tefka hasn't been exactly the Garden of Eden. Yeah, that's true. After all, what have we got? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a pot, a pan, a brew, a hat. Someone should have sent a match to this place years ago. A bench. A tree. So what's a stove? Or a house. People who pass around a town don't even know they've been here. Stick a foot. A piece of cloth. What do we need? Nothing much. Only on a town Come, children, help me finish. 
finish packing the rest of the clothes. Golden darling! I had to see you before I left because I have such news for you. Golden darling, you remember I told you yesterday I didn't know where to go, what to do with these old bones. Now I know. You want to hear? I'll tell you. Golden darling, all my life I dreamed of going to one place. And now I'll walk, I'll crawl, I'll get there. Guess where? You'll never guess. Every year at Passover, what do we say? Next year in Jerusalem. Next year in the Holy Land. You're going to the Holy Land. You guess. And you know what? In my sleep, my husband, my heir, came to me and said, Yenta, go to the Holy Land. Usually, of course, I wouldn't listen to him because too much brains he wasn't blessed with. But in my sleep, it's a sign, right? So, somehow or other, I'll get to the Holy Land. And you know what I'll do there? I'm the matchmaker, no. I'll arrange the marriages, yes. So, I'm going to the Holy Land to help our people increase and multiply. It's my mission. So, goodbye, go. Bye. Bye. Maybe next time, Golda, we will meet on happier occasions. <laughs> Meanwhile, we suffer. We suffer. We suffer in silence, right? Of course, right. <clears throat> we have to hurry, Golda. Come, Golda, we have to leave soon. Leave? It sounds so easy. Well, we'll all be together soon. But the sight on the baby, they'll come too, you'll see. That bottle is a person. It's her chicken. How the way will we see them? Do they come visiting us from Siberia every sight? He sits in prison and she works. And someday soon he'll be set free and together they'll turn the world upside down. They couldn't be happier. <laughs> the other troubles be with us? Not all. All. Oh. I'm going to we have to get finished. I'm going to sweep the floor. <laughs> sweep the floor? I don't want to leave a dirty house. <laughs> Pevia. Well, Pevia. I'm on my way. Where are you going? Chicago. In America. Yes. My wife, Puma Sarah, may she rest in peace. Has a brother there. That's nice. Yeah. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> but a relative is a relative. Goodbye, Pevia. Golden. 
Disciple, don't forget the baby. <laughs>